dethrone your enemy chapter 28 verse 12 to 13 he says the lord this is a prophetic word so what you do for me as i read it you will be saying amen i think it's better that way as i read it you'll be saying amen the Lord shall open unto you his good treasure in the name of Jesus. Amen. The heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season in the name of Jesus. Amen. To bless all the work of your hand in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you shall lend unto many nations and you shall not borrow in the Amen. name of Jesus. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. Amen. You shall be above only in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you shall not be beneath in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I commanded this day to observe them and to do them in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn to your neighbor and preach to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, my hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. Tell your neighbor, my hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. Tell your neighbor, my hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. Stretch are blessed. those beautiful hands to this altar. I have a word for seven persons under the sound of my voice. God said I should tell you that those hands that he has given you is about to carry a major blessing. I came to pray for you in that business, in that job, in that marriage, in whatever you do. As I hear your amen, receive a major blessing. Receive a major blessing. I say your hands are blessed. Your hands are blessed. Your hands are blessed. Your hands are blessed. You will do great things. You march forward. You move forward. Nothing can stop you. God has blessed you. No man can stop it. Those your hands are blessed. Those your hands are blessed. You are blessing. You are going out. You are blessing. You are coming in. In the name of Jesus. You are blessing. You are going out. You are blessing. You are coming in. You are blessing the church. You are blessed at home. You are blessed at walk. Blessing encompass your life. Blessing encompass your heritage. Blessing encompass your business. In the name of Jesus. For you don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Victory is on your side. Jump up and shout fire. These hands, they are blessed. Amen. Amen. These are your hands, they are blessed. Amen. Amen. I told you of a cousin of mine. Less than 30 years old. Is he about 23, 25? He did an app. Sold it to Google for one billion dollars in this land. A man that was jumping boss in New York. God gave him the idea. He reached out to someone in Romania. They put the app together. And overnight he became a billionaire in dollars. Hallelujah. There is so much God has put in our hands. Yes. That's why he said there are riches that are hidden in secret places. He they are hidden for us. Not against us. Yes. God hid it so that his children can see it first. Yes. And take advantage of it. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I came to tell you, don't be discouraged. Amen. Don't allow anyone tell you, your hands are not loaded. Mm. There is so much that I put in your hands. Yes, and I came to activate it by the power of God. Amen. Straight those hands towards me. Yes. That blessing that God has put in your hands, that emancipation that God has put in your hands, powers on assignment to attack your hands. I prophesy as I hear your amen. Let that evil power go down. Let that witch go down. Let that wizard go down. Anyone on assignment to stop you. As I hear your amen, I stop them by fire. I stop them by fire. I stop them by fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When people see that you could, you are their back and call, they treat you anyhow. It's true. It will look like they are helping you. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Someone said, don't just give me fish. Teach me how to fish. That's right, sir. The Bible said in Acts 28 from verse 1, talking about Paul, when they escaped, they knew that the island was called Melita. Verse 2. And the barbarous people showed Paul so much kindness. 
They came to the fire. Received all the land. Because of the present land. Because of the cold. They treated them well. But immediately, Paul started gathering sticks. When you start gathering sticks, you are trying to say, I don't need you anymore. Gathering stick means you want to get the work of your hands together. And put them on fire. All this why there was no snake. Immediately he wanted to make a living. Immediately he wants to break, break something. Immediately he wants to take a step. The Bible said a viper came out of the heat. And fasting where his hand. He didn't fasting on his leg. He fasting on his hand. Your hand represents production. What you can bring. But Paul had revelation knowledge. Somebody say we know, we know. He understood Genosco. The Bible said immediately. He shook it off into the fire. And felt no harm. I prophesy. Anyone that wants to attack your hand. That wants to attack your productivity. As I hear your amen. They expire by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. You know. The scripture was saying. When it happened. They said see this man. That in the sea he almost died. But the same problem followed him. Now he has come to earth. You know, people look at you because of the things you have been through. They say, you see, we said it. The other time, this thing happened. This time, see, you have escaped this one. Your father's house is still pursuing you. But let me tell you, it doesn't matter who is pursuing you. What matters is the ability to pursue them. Yes, sir. I preach the message, pursue my pursuers. Are you with me? You pursue them by shaking off the beast into the fire. Are you with me? Yes, the devil says he will not give up. You, you say, I will not give up. I come to prophesy. If you hear the sound of my voice, any problem in your life, that problem bows before your face. Bows before your face. Bows before your face. Before your face. You will not give up. Your problem will give up. Up. That attack we give up. That problem 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 we give up. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 from verse 17, it said, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me. Say the Lord, I prophesy any weapon of the enemy against your destiny, against your fruitfulness, against your emancipation. As I hear your amen, let it backfire, let it backfire, let it backfire. Every weapon of the enemy against your children, against your marriage, against your ministry, let it backfire, let it backfire, let it backfire, let it backfire, let it backfire. In the name of Jesus. Matthew 6 11 he said give us this day our daily bread that is a daily bread that is there for you yes, sir. every day you wake up that is a daily bread yes, sir. are you with me yes, sir. there is something that is reserved for you yes, sir. never allow anybody to take it Hallelujah. never allow anybody to take it if you have to kill to take it Kill. Yes. The Bible said there is time to eat and there is time to kill. Yes. Are you with me? Yes, sir. In Judges chapter 1, verse 6, the Bible talked about a wicked king. His name Adoni Bezek. Hmm. The Bible said he fled and they pursued after him and caught him. When they caught him, they cut off his thumbs and his great toes. And he said, 70 kings. He did not cut it physically. Those 70 kings are kings ruling around his area, but he made no sense of them. They became useless as kings. They can't take decisions. They can't work for themselves. He says 70 kings, having their thumbs and their great toes cut off, gathered their meat under my table. Their meat means that whatever is supposed to come to them, whatever they are working, they walk and put in bag with holes. I am staying here to eat it. I'm staying here to eat it. One man messed up 70 men. 
There are some men like that from your village. We need to keep them. There are some men like that in your destiny. I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever that wicked man is, whoever that wicked woman is, whoever that witch is, whoever that wizard is, thou said your hand will not carry. They cut your thumb, they cut your toe, so that you cannot hold something. Anything you walk, you walk. It's like you can't see it because a wicked entity is eating it up. I don't know who is eating. Eating your womb, eating your job, eating your business, eating your marriage, eating your productivity. I came with a word from God. I kneel on this altar, wherever they are, whoever they are, as I hear your amen, let them slump and die. 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 By the reason of this encounter, I declare restoration for your job, restoration in your business, restoration in your marriage, restoration in your ministry. For you don't serve a dead God, you serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday, he's the same today, he's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lift you up no man can bring it down god is on your side power is on your side victory is on your side jump up and shout fire you know what god just told me now i just heard it clearly he said most times the devil uses all these kind of things to distract you from where you are going mm, that's right small small things it's not distracting you. have a very humongous destiny. Mm. But all these small things mm. happening around you is not helping you to concentrate. That's right. So Whatever looks like a distraction hey, hey. in your life, yes, as I hear your amen, I cut it off by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. One distraction can mess up an entity. That's right. Just one small distraction. Very true. Can mess up a home. Yes. Can mess up a business. Yes. A man got to work. And his boss said, You didn't greet me. He got angry and resigned. By the time he got home, his eye cleared. By the time he come back, the job is no more there. Oh my goodness. What, what, did, what just happened? In a split second, he was a director in Chevron. In another second, he was sitting at home. Because a power was released to make sure that he buys this distraction. And he bought it. He bought it. Brothers and sisters, make sure you have time with God. In every situation, have time with God. Yes, One thing I can tell you for sure is that scripture I gave you, Romans 8, 28. All things work together yes, sir. for good for you. Mm -hmm. Don't allow anything to tell you something different. Mm -hmm. What should I do to remain blessed? Number one, make sure your hands have oil always. Make sure there is oil in your hand. Amen. Make sure that you are not lacking oil. Mm. The Bible talked about the ten virgins. Five were wise, five were foolish. Some carry lamp. The word of God is the lamp, but there was no oil. Mm. It's not just to carry Bible. The, the rema inside it is what gives you oil. Make sure you carry oil. Amen. Make sure you carry oil. The Bible said in 1 Kings 17 verse 10. So he arose, Elijah, and went to Zarephath because God had told him to go there. He came to the gate of the city. Behold, the widow woman was there gathering sticks. What is the sticks for? Trying to make money. Mm -hmm. You are gathering sticks. You are walking. He called her and said, fetch me a pretty a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to fetch it, he called her and said, bring me a pretty a morsel of bread in your hand. And she said, as the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake but I have a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, 
I'm gathering two sticks so that I will go and dress it for me and my son. That we may eat and do what? And die. And Elijah said, fear not. Tell somebody, fear not. Fear not. Fear not. He said, go and do as you have said. But make me first. Let me rub oil on this thing. And after, make for yourself and thy son. And the guy, the woman did. And that was the beginning of her turnaround. That's right. The Bible said, the barrel of men shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day the Lord send the train upon the earth. I prophesy. I the oil on your hand, the oil on your head, as I hear your amen, let it receive expression. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. A woman cried in 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 1. He came. He said to Elisha, please. My husband was a prophet. He said, what do you have? He said, I don't have anything. But just one small pot of oil. He said, go. Go and borrow vessels. And the Bible says, he borrowed. He filled and filled. And he said, the oil stayed. The oil stayed. He had a sense. Brothers and sisters, all those times you are coming for choir practice, all those times you are studying the scripture, all those times you are praying, you are giving your seed, you are emancipating yourself, you are getting ready. The oil on your head is receiving expression. You will come out to the road and there is an accident that wants to happen. The oil, you will just hear it was a turn left and you just escape. Amen. Make sure there is oil. Yes, Lord. Make sure there is oil. Yes, Lord. I'm telling you, I don't know for you. If you make out time, even if it is 20 minutes alone with God, you will hear him. Before you step out in a day, you must hear him. I, I don't know if you are on God traveled. I just need 20 minutes. If I can lock myself up 20 minutes, I will hear something. I pray your oil will not run dry. Amen. Amen. You will not lack oil. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Number two, fulfill your covenants with God. We always sing a song. Covenant keeping God. Yahweh. Yahweh. Covenant keeping God. Do you really understand what you are singing? Do you know what a covenant is? Marriage, for instance, is a covenant. It's a tripartite covenant between man and woman and God. So it means a covenant that are laws binding a covenant. Yes. So it's not saying covenant keeping God. What are the covenants you have with God? What can God say? This is the covenant I have with this brother. It's not by what, by talk. There is no covenant. If I see you on the road, so bro, I have covenant with you. You say, okay, <laughs> let's be walking. <laughs> I have covenant with you. That is, there are rules, there are things listed in the covenant. Share responsibility. The covenant I have with you is that tomorrow we will meet every day, nine o'clock to pray. Yeah, it's now becoming a covenant because there are things listed in the covenant. Are you with me? Yes, sir. One of the covenant of the covenant of giving is a very strong covenant. Yes. That you must take seriously for your life. I'm talking about business that say come with whatever you do but i'm telling you some of the things you must know concerning that job make sure that god is part of that job yes, sir. make sure that god is in that business yes, sir. put god first there yes, sir. let him take over the business say lord this business is yours when the money comes he say god see the money that came in see your own you give him his own and when you give him his own, he will give you your own. That's right, sir. God does not play kalo uh, kalo uh, like we people. At all. He does not cheat no man. At all. He will even pay you arrears. Yes. The Bible said in Romans 11 verse 8, If the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. The root is holy. The branches are holy. Why? I have a covenant with you in this thing I'm doing. Yes, sir. Sometimes it looks to you. If you, have, if you have really mastered money, you know that money truly is a spirit. Yes. If you have mastered money, so when you, let me tell you, if you want to be first in class, there are certain things you have to do to be yes, first. That's right. 
<laughs> you know, sometimes you want to be first. You notice that something happened. Maybe someone is like you. One cause it didn't do well. You can give up at that time, but you can still make up your mind yes. to make up with other causes That's right. and still return yes. first. Yes. And why it's difficult to overtake the person who is first is because the person who is first is also tireless reading. Yes. So this time he's first. Next time he's first, you're wondering. You think he will go and sleep? He won't go and sleep because he has seen the result of his giving and he's staying there. You wake up one day, you say you want to overtake somebody. Who, <laughs> where, where, where were you? What is why? All you need to do now is if you are starting now, you start and start racing. God will help you. But the thing is that you have to be consistent. Yes. Say, bring your the tithe into the storehouse that there might be meat in my house. Bring it. This life of struggle, you don't need it. At all. Ever. You see, this life of struggle, you don't need it. At all. Ever. Make up your mind that if I have covenant with God yes. and it's not money is key but make sure every area of your life there is a covenant that you are bound with areas that God are interested in how many times do you pray a day what time do you pray said God every day I will come in with you at this time I'm coming and God is waiting to see you because you will be there hallelujah I pray for you that no matter what happens around you, you will not break your covenant with God. Amen. Amen. I say you will not break your covenant with God. Amen. You will not break your covenant with God. Amen. You will not break your covenant with God. Amen. You will not break your covenant with God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Number three. Don't enter a profession because others are entering. Listen to the Holy Ghost to direct you. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Papa said he met a man who was selling nylon paper and the man is a millionaire in dollars. Mm. He says nylon. You know what nylon is? Dangote says in Domi. One day he said he woke up. He wanted to know if he's really a rich man. He went to the bank. How much did he say he wanted? Is it $10 million? He said, give me $10 million. They withdrew it, gave it to him. He carried it home. He said, I want to be sure. They said, I'm a millionaire. I'm a he said, let me just go. He goes and said, I want $10 million. They withdrew it. Cash gave him. Uh -huh. He doesn't need it. Uh -huh. He just wants to confirm. Yes. That he he yes. carried it home. Uh -huh. And got home and he dumped it. He was looking at it. Uh -huh. God punished the devil. Amen. He entered the place. And he knows that this is what I'm doing. There you go. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said, for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. He called his own servant, delivered unto them his goods to each one according to his several ability. To each one according to his several ability. He gets some five, he gets some two based on the ability. Yes. Whatever God has given you, hold it yes. and do it. Yes. There's some ability God has given you. Yes. Don't look at another person's ability and say, ah, you be like, say, now nah, nothing they move market. <laughs> now, not in the move market, <laughs> and you know, say your head no strong. You go there, study, they study every time. They say you fell in class, you fell in class. What is wrong with you? Can't you, can't you ask God which one, which one do you want me to do? Which one? There is one before the multiple, but there is one. You can do other things, but there is one. Yes, sir. That you can do well. Yes, sir. It's better you do what you can do well. Yes. What you like doing. Uh -huh. What you enjoy doing. Yes, sir. Than to do what you are forced to do. Yes, sir. If you are doing what you are forced to do, you will not. It, God will not even be with you because God doesn't want His children to be suffering uh -huh. or doing something by force. There you go. It might look small. But you enjoy doing it. Keep doing it. It will grow. Yes, sir. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Because it's in that thing you are doing that God will bless you. And you like doing it. He will bless you from there. The way God blesses people in things. <laughs> Years ago, we wanted to hire a dispatch rider in a bank. And of course, the guy is smart. 
when we gave him the offer, the offer is like two times what he's earning. The guy laughed. He said, I'm not coming. <laughs> I said, ah, we're giving you double your salary. He said, oh, he said, sir, I'm not coming. I said, why? He said, sir, only the tips he get, the tips is like five times his salary. He has a guy, has everything that every, but he's an Okada dispatch. But he is faithful to it. And his organization is blessing him. He said the tip alone is five times. So what, what is he coming to do for you? You want to double? He, there's no need. You can be doing that thing. It looks small. Let Be diligent in it. As long as you love it and you like it, be doing it diligently. You will be shocked. Someone will come and say, ah, I want, in fact, I have this business like this one. I want you to come and manage it for me. I pray for you. In that thing that God has told you to do, that you are doing diligently, as you jump up and shout, Amen, this season, you will grow in it. It will expand. It will grow. It will expand. It will grow. It will expand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then number four, and I will explain the difference between number three and number four. Multitask yourself for multiple streams of income. Are you with me? Yes, sir. There is one which you have put your mind on this one thing. But there's the ability to multitask. Why? Ecclesiastes 11 verse 2 says something. He said, give a portion to seven and also to eight. For you know that not what evil shall be upon the earth. Have you noticed some sectors are closed? In Nigeria, bankers are crying. There used to be a time if you're a banker in Nigeria, everybody bows for you. Now they're crying. The sector is down. Even the oil sector is down. Many oil companies are closing down. Ajip has been bought over. All the people have resigned. So if everyone had their thing there, they're going on retirement home. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Multitask yourself. God will help you to show you where you can put something, where you can put something. You say, if the cloud be full of rain, they will empty themselves. And if the tree fall towards the south or towards the north, in the place where the tree fall, there shall be. And I say to you, four things I said before. Number one, if you can do anything, property, land, have it. You will not be angry you had it. It does not go down. No matter economic condition. Are you with me? And if you are buying a property today, it's a suggestion. You know, Paul wrote something. He said, this is my suggestion. Buy the one with the basement. In fact, if you supervise the building, let them build the two basements so that you have two separate. Only the rent from those two basements will pay your mortgage. Yes, sir. Yes. It will pay your mortgage. The Bible says, he that observed the wind will not sow. And he that regarded the cloud shall not reap. The second thing, make sure you have a profession. A profession for me is where you work that has a career path. Have a profession or a business that you know that this is what I'm doing. And it has a career path. It's not stagnant. There is growth expectations. The third thing, education. Go to school. Write books. Do things. There are many of you. You can write books as you are now. You can write. Write it. Publish it. You'll be shocked. A lot of people are waiting to see what you carry. There are people only singing is what has made, me be, made them billionaires. Just to be able to sing. Multitask yourself. Another sector that is coming up very strong is transportation. You can't take it away from transportation. Have you gone to the airport? If you go to the airport, you will wish you were Delta, the owner of Delta Airline. In fact, you will even pray, even if it is spirit that you have. <laughs> <laughs> the number of people that are flying, yeah, I see, where are they going to? <laughs> Everybody, group, group, where are they going? <laughs> Somebody somewhere is counting them up. There you go. 
I, you know, I used to ask, sometimes I said, I said, where was Uber and Lyft before now? Where were they? Good question. I'm telling you. Now everybody is, every day, yes. everybody is moving Lyft, Lyft, and people are counting money. Why can't you start your own Lyft, Omega Lyft, uh -huh. Omega whatever? Uh -huh. Can't we have it? Can't someone here come? We, we say we want to do it. The people that did lift, I heard that they went to Europe, they were traveling, they went to France, and they were waiting for a car, and the car didn't pick them. Then I thought about, ah, we can do something like this. They came back to the U.S. and did it. Wow. And started it, and people are, are killing themselves to enter it. What you have on your head is bigger than what they have. Yes, Lord. Why can't we do it? Why can't we do it? Everybody... I'm, uh, are you Amazon Prime? Why can't I be the Amazon myself? Where did Amazon wake up from and start doing that everybody is subscribing to Amazon Prime? Can't you create the site, let people come there and say their things too? Brothers and sisters, let's multitask ourselves. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. And number five, refuse to be idle. Refuse to be idle. You have to be doing something for God to bless it. Yes. Are you with me? Yes, Lord. You have to be doing something. Right. Said the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give unto thee, reign in the land, and to bless what? The work of your hand. There must be work in your hand for him to bless it. Yes. Do something. Wake up and say, yes, I want to go and do something. Stand up on your feet right now. Immediately we close the service. Whatever profession you do, you want us to know about it, there's tables there. You stand and tell us. I told those in the medical field to come with things to check people's blood pressure and stuff. I don't know if they did. You can go there and check. That profession you have, we want to know what you're doing. And if we need to give you advice. I was thinking that I know that something like Dr. Mike, you hire some people outside this country. Yes, sir. And I'm saying, those people, do they have a green card? No. <laughs> and you are here paying them. So what is, our, what is the problem? Because I, I, the other day came to me. You hire people from outside the country. They work online and you pay them from there. So why will someone who is in America can be hired to do the same work? I know you are looking at cost, for instance. But if I can sit at a place and multitask myself and still make money, why can't I do that? What I'm trying to say, there is so much that can be done. There is so much. The thing is that sometimes people are just discouraged. They just sit down there. If you're a man here and you take your bath for more than 10 minutes, 5, 3 minutes, they need to flog you. If you're a man, you enter the bathroom to take your bath, and you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> they need to flog you. You must put your thinking cap on. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I need to change things. I need to change the world. And you're getting angry. Because your wife is bringing more money. Why are you getting angry? Why are you getting angry? Appreciate your wife. You know they chop the money. The chopper. Oh. You give you go chopper. <laughs> Make up your mind. There is so much we can do out there. And I came to challenge you. That as you live here today. Put on that thinking cap. And go into your closet. There is something that God has in stock for each and every one of us. There is something. Start from somewhere. Start from somewhere. It might look small. Say, so though even your beginning might be small, the end shall be great. We are going to crush powers that are trying to make you tired. Because sometimes there are heavy powers. I'm telling you. 
How many of you at a time, maybe at one time or the other, you, you have been discouraged before? I'm telling you. The powers that will just come. Just, and when you get discouraged, you start eating. You don't have money, but you must eat. Then you start growing fat. <laughs> Your brain start leaving you. <laughs> My Jesus Christ. Discouragement is not good. You eat money, you eat afternoon as you are passing everywhere. Anything you see, you eat because of discouragement. <laughs> this stress is not good. You must make up your mind. Are you with me? Yes, sir. You know what Jesus said? He said, My father walk. He did too, I walk. Jesus said, He's walking. He said, I'm moving around my father's business. Yes. He said, I'm walking. Jesus said, I want to walk the walk while he's dead. Night is coming when witches and wizards will not allow anybody to walk. Night is coming when old age will hold you. That's true. When I go to Walmart, I go to all those places, I see this old man carrying trolley. What happened during their youthful years? Mm. There was a time they could have produced. At the age of 60, God forbid, don't be angry. You are not supposed to be walking again. That's true. You are supposed to be sitting down. And pressing computer ah, and checking the stock market. There you go. Which one has gone off? Which one has gone up? Money will be entering your account. Hallelujah. Are you thinking that way? Or are you drinking your life away? Smoking your life away? The future is not waiting for anybody. That's true. I'm telling you. That's true. If you think others are waiting for you, you are wasting your time. Nobody waits for nobody. Yes. By the time you look back and see your contemporaries and your mates, they have left you. Why? Because you wasted their years. You wasted their years. You wasted their years. The time you should have used to be productive. We are just moving around. We are going to pray. Who is that principality? Who is that power? It could be an attitude. It could be a power that has made you not to move fast as you should. By the reason of this encounter, they go down, they go down, they go Amen. down. Amen. They go down, they go Amen. down. Amen. Amen. There are some people, you come with a good certificate to this country, then you need to start school afresh again. Sometimes it could be discouraging. It could be discouraging. But if you know yourself, make up your mind that I'm going to get this thing yes. done. Yes. I'm going to get this thing yes. done. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. I'm going to pray any man, any woman, principality of power, are backing the works of my hand and my fruitfulness. As I pray, I crush you. Amen. I crush you. Amen. I crush you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I crush you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I want to let you know, make sure you read. Make sure you read. I'm, I can't remember one other day someone said about people that read. Because there's so much that comes up on people that you might not even know about the country. Some people, they sell their country. They don't know they have sold it. And they will still be there. I'm sure they have sold Cameroon. Cameroon, they don't know. <laughs> they have sold. And they're about to sell Nigeria. People can be there. And someone has already bought it. <laughs> Until one day you stumble on the paper and say, ah, they sold this country <laughs> for 30 pieces of silver. Can you see what they are writing? The other day I saw they want to give, uh, is it one container or something? One of, Nigeria should take one loan. Ah, do you know how much loan this the Nigeria has taken? He sold. That's why you must be productive for yourself. That's right, sir. You know, there are some people that are waiting What's the age they start paying them something? Is it 60? Some people are waiting to be 65. The only thing they believe is 65, they start paying me something. God punish the devil. Is that the life God has called you? You are praying just to be 65 so that they can be paying you peanuts. The person paying you, is it not a human being? No, I'm angry in my spirit. Are you with me? I'm very angry my spirit. Things must change for us Amen. as the children of God. Amen. Papa, Bible, Papa said it, I think he said redemption is not reduction. 
that you are born again doesn't mean that you are reduced. Every time you want to fly, you are looking for attachment. The last seat at the back. Not because, it's because you are checking your pocket. God punish the devil. You go to eat with friends. All of you are contributing money to go and eat at a buffet. Bring your own, bring your own, bring your own, bring your own. <laughs> Which kind of poverty mentality is this one? <laughs> bring your $10, bring your $10, error, bring your $10. Error. <laughs> it's not your portion. It's, Jesus. it's annoying. Yes, sir. <laughs> and the people are willingly bringing their ten, 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 ten. <laughs> One pass. person cannot say, I want to pay for everybody. <laughs> One person cannot. Because the mentality of poverty. <laughs> but it's much, it's so much in this part of the world. Yes. That's the truth. It's so much in this part of the world. That's true. When I came to the US, eh, I, I was so angry with a lot of things. You go to somewhere, someone is <laughs> bring your own, let me bring my own. What kind of thing is this? <laughs> Even husband and wife. <laughs> no, th- that one, eh? I was so mad. I was so mad one day when a sister was telling me that they were to take someone out she and the husband that she's always the one bringing more of the money the food is $50 she brings 30 the husband brings 20 <laughs> Holy Spirit help us Holy Spirit help us tell somebody say I refuse to be small Say, I refuse to be small. I refuse to be small. I'm going to pray. Any man or woman, principality or power, attacking the walls of my hand and my feet. As I pray, I crush you in the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Say, my father, my father, lion of Judah, as I begin to pray, any man or woman, principalities and powers, attacking the walls of my hand, attacking my fruitfulness, you are a liar. As I pray, I crush you, I crush you, in the name of Jesus. Clap your hand and pray that prayer. This person is God said he's making you a major employer of labor. Amen. Amen. That you will Man, make so much power. money. You make so much money. You make so much money. Amen. God is expanding your coast. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The heavens are open. Wisdom is being released upon people's head. Yes, ideas are being released. God is giving you ideas. Amen. God is giving you ideas for the next level. Amen. 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 Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ. Father, we thank you. Just begin to thank him right now. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. 
Anama shaka fa yakati. Lebente ki prata tushka tekati. Rapante ki kapa shaka prata. Repeke tu kepeke ti kapa kapa paya. Shaka fa yakati. Repeke ti kapa yakati. Lebene teke ti kapa 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 shaka. Le panda la barakete sekuto zikada ya barato onloka rakata kita. There are some people here. There's an idea God gave you. You've been thinking on it. Come, I want to pray for you. God said something will happen with that idea. Something will happen. Something will happen. Something will happen. Jesus, you are the lily of the valley. Oh, Jesus, you are the bright morning star. Oh, Jesus, you are the mighty man in battle. Oh, I love you, Jesus, the master of the world. Oh, Jesus, you are the lily of the valley. Oh, 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 Jesus, you are the bright and morning star. Oh, Jesus, you are the white man in battle. Oh, I call you Jesus, the master of the world. anything that represents whatever you do even if you don't have it just stretch your hand towards the other if you have it stretch that thing towards here matamba kayata edingo bende kishkatata le bende kuske peketi yasata le breleke tika payakata as you stretch it towards here, just be speaking in another tongues. Hemeletesh. Lebede to kopre ketush kapayata. Lava kakakamaya katukapaya. Rango koshe ketuka kakakakakopayakata. Rakatoko koko pesheke. Lakako koko pesheke teke. Rakatoko koko pesheke katukapaya. Rakoko peya kato. Rapaka kakakapaya. Shaka toko peke tukapaya. Reko koko kopeye koko kopaya kato. Shaka paka kakapaya. Rete koko kope yakato, lete koko kope yakaka kapa yakate, nesante kope koko kapa yaka, la paka kapa, la paka kapa paya, la kaka kapa yakato, kaka kapa yakaka kapa yakato, kaka 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 kapa ya, rakato kope ketu kapa kaka kapa paya, kapa ntele ketu kapa kaka kapa yakato kapa kapa kapa. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, you said you will bless the work of our hands. Your children are here today, Lord. We are putting before you the work of their hands, Amen. their job, their businesses, their careers, the ideas you have given them. Father, you said you will bless it. I declare, Father, from today, let there be an exponential growth in what they do. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, I just heard something clear. God said, anyone in your profession who has become a thorn in the flesh for you, in the next five days, they will resign and leave that place. In the name of Jesus. 
anything God has called you to do and there is a contention from her I stand hiding of that grace whoever is contending whether is a force whether is a man a woman a witch or a wizard contending with your fruitfulness contending with the work of your hands as I hear your amen they shall sleep and not wake up they shall sleep and not wake up they shall sleep and not wake up in the name of Jesus yes growth has come increase has come Amen. expansion has come Amen. expansion has come Amen. god said you started with one it's going to be two Amen. it's going to be two Amen. it's going to be two Amen. increase in the name of jesus Amen. thank you father just begin to thank him right now give him the glory give him the honor something has happened already next sunday next sunday especially i'm going to be ministering on uh, documentation that is green cards and citizenship next sunday as well as marital bliss those that believe in god for marriage especially next sunday i'm going to minister on that Amen. just thank god right now